Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be traveling all the way back to 1994 to listen to Fall Down and Windmills by Toad the Wet Sprocket. Both of these come from the album Dulcinea, their fourth studio album. Dulcinea is the love interest in the novel Don Quixote, and that novel is referenced in the song Windmills. Uh, Fall Down is based on a girl who was misunderstood and therefore rebelled and acted recklessly. It was a single and charted well in the US, the UK, and Canada. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community where it's all amazing music all the time. Here we go. <laughs>
Two more excellent Toad the Wet Sprocket songs to add to my small but hopefully growing Toad library. I will start with Fall Down. Very, very 90s. You know I'm here for that. That's why I added 90s into the time window of my channel. I don't think I hear enough 90s on the channel. Um, I got shades of Tom Petty for sure in this one. I love that reference. He's amazing. I know several of his songs and I've reacted to him at least once here. Uh, super strong melodies here, a very single worthy song, I totally get it, a great choice, I'm glad it did well. Lots of excellent 90s style guitar work going on in this one, and a great driving bass line, so cool. I appreciated the generous use of backing vocals as well to complement Glenn Phillips' amazing rock voice. At around the halfway mark, I really loved the guitar solo, question mark. Was that a guitar? It almost sounded like a keyboard. It's kind of cool. I got to enjoy it, but it was a bit ambiguous, and I always like that in music where I can't quite identify what's being played. Uh, then we get this quick breakdown in the music. Everything dropped out, it seemed. It didn't last long, but it was a nice moment, and I did not expect that at all. A great and quick tangent in the song. Then the music picked up again. I was loving it, into it, rocking with it. Uh, but then this super abrupt ending really caught me by surprise. A metaphoric decision? Question mark? Maybe. Overall, a great song, and it's catchy to the nth degree. All right, let's talk about the lyrics. I think it's about a girl completely broken inside, trying to stay afloat and play the part, but wanting to leave this painful world. The repeated lines, when will we fall down, suggest that this mental collapse could happen to any of us at any time. Great song. It's getting five golden records, an A score for Fall Down by Toad the Wet Sprocket, 1994. All right, and on to the beautiful Windmills. 
a warmly sad vibe to start the song with. I was already uh, relaxed and in that pocket, enjoying it. Some great pristine acoustic guitar work going on all over. You know, those acoustic guitar arpeggios just gently drive the song along. I love that. And of course, they add strums from the heavens. I'm sold. The super subtle uh, cymbal work in the back of the mix was a nice touch. Also helped to drive the song along subtly. I love how Glenn's vocals were processed here, you know, so reverbed, so strong, uh, bright but sorrowful at the same time. Really great. He sounded amazing in this one. Then in the chorus, we get this big jump in both my emotions and the sound of the song. Uh, some nice big drums were added for impact. Really cool. Then we quiet down again and I just get to sit in that pocket, relax and enjoy it however sad it might be. Um, more dreamy backing vocals, so uh, expansive and lush, more dreamy acoustic guitar. Then boom, I look up and the song was over. Uh, as soon as it started, it seemed, just flew by, shows how great of a song it was, how much I was into it. I love how this song got me calmly, slowly, and subtly emotional versus a song like, you know, Planet of New Orleans Yesterday that sent my emotions through the stratosphere and on overload. This was just a different type of feeling. Just pure, plush, musical beauty in this one. All right, let's talk about the lyrics. I think the song is about wasting precious time and chasing unattainable dreams in life. The narrator constantly seeks comfort and happiness, sometimes where there is none, as the world continues on, unbothered and often cruel. He also randomly continues on, never losing his hope, or should we call it delusion? Very sad lyrics that many of us can relate to in this journey of life. So really love this one as well. It's getting five super shiny golden records. An A-plus for Windmills by Toad the Wet Sprocket, 1994. Thank you so much, Glenn Phillips, Dean Dinning, Randy Gus, and Todd Nichols. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. If you wish to chat about these songs, I would love to know what you think. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past.